uh, hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my new playlist where we are talking about node.js with microservices we are learning how to write a basic node.js microservice how to create a microservice architecture and we will also go through different microservice patterns with the help of node.js okay so in the first video we are going to cover this particular use case where what we are going to have is uh, we are going to have a docker compose okay so we are going to use docker as a tool okay so docker is a tool for containerization for our application this is the tool we are going to have and okay that docker desktop is already running on my system what we are going to have is this is my simple user who is going to use my application okay so i will put this user here this user is going to have an access to my application and what we have is we have two different services okay we can say two different microservices running we also have a mysql or a mongodb okay and you can say uh, we have neo 4g or mongodb mysql so this is my mysql database this is i have as a mongodb this i have node.js apis okay you can see a uh, user api okay you can call it as a what do we have another api is is a store apis okay i'll just put this some colors so they look good so these are four different microservices we have i mean services are only two these are database service and mongodb service which we can just which, which we can get using just a simple pulling a docker image okay and these all are running in the docker containers okay so i will just copy and paste it and what we will do is here i will have a nginx okay and i will set up a routing on the nginx to route my request i can just zoom this a little bit what we are doing here i can route my nginx request based on some rule to this user api and based on this some rule to this particular api and this is my consumer it can be a front end client or a api consumer okay and then these store apis can be talking to mysql or you can say the user api is talking to you can see uh, mongodb okay something like this okay this is the basic structure we are going to build and these all are nest js or you can say express generated rest apis we have i'll just make it more structured all will be running in the docker containers these are like node.js services we have and we will pull the mysql and mongo docker images and we just need to create a runtime environment okay so with the help of nginx we are going to create a we are going to override a nginx file so that whenever a user is sending so user will send can send a user forward slash request or user can send a user request also okay so we have to handle two different kind of routing whenever request is coming from user then it should go to the user api whenever there is a request coming from store or forward slash then it should go to the store apis which are written okay we are not writing uh, we are not learning how to write node.js code here so consider that you already have some application node.js application or you can use these cli application like nest cli or express cli to generate or build this applications simple rest apis okay and this all will be inside a docker compose so we can create some kind of a boundary here that all this we are going to uh, put put around in the uh docker compose i mean we are going to achieve it with the docker compose you can actually use all these different tools 
to the background okay so everything is actually we are going to wrap it up inside a docker compose so for the local stack i mean we are building we are just running a local environment and we have one docker compose file right docker compose file will initiate our whole process so what do we have we have some apis written for user some apis written for store and for mysql mongo mongodb or any other database system we just need to pull the pull the docker image for them and we just need to run that docker build so that we can get the container runtime okay so what we need is basically we just need a docker installed rest we just need uh, we just need to write our own custom nginx file so that nginx can support this kind of a proxy pattern where user can send the user request to the user apis i mean we just need to set up a routing in the nginx which will take care of this kind of a routing and here you can have like one more service where you have forward slash inventory or forward slash something so that nginx would be able to route your request to a particular microservice and that microservice will be talking to its own data source right so what we have done is we need to have simple docker compose yml file docker compose yml file will have like we have these many services here okay so if you see you can also add mysql we have simple mongodb nginx store and user okay store and user these are the node.js services nginx we just need to pull the nginx container right okay so nginx has its own docker file mongodb we just need to pull the doc, latest image of mongodb and we just need to run it so it will spin up the mongodb container and for nginx we have the simple docker file which is doing nothing but it is uh, creating the base image from the nginx and putting this nginx conf which we have written locally and overriding it with the container nginx file so that we can customize the configurations okay here what we have done is we are saying that whenever the request is coming for forward slash i will be taking this to the store container whenever the request is coming to the forward slash user or any wildcard uh, route then i will be taking this to the user's container okay so what we need to do is first let's uh, just deal with the docker and we'll just spin up the containers okay okay now it is pulling the mongodb image right so here is our simple setup you can see that we have a docker compose file which has a mongodb container we have a nginx i did few modifications uh, those modifications are very simple so we have these two node.js apps so which are exposing the port 3000 okay so this is the port mapping host port to the container port container port is a 3000 and host port is 3004 okay and if you look at the nginx file which is exposing both the containers on different routes you can see the upstream for forward slash is store so whenever you hit forward slash it is going to talk to the store container whenever you put forward slash users it is going to talk to the users container so we can do docker compose build docker compose up and if you see docker compose yml here both node.js services are depending on uh, mongodb okay i updated the version of docker compose file and updated some uh, some of the attributes uh, like these are the two node.js services which are depends on mongodb container so first it will wait for mongodb to come up and similarly the nginx you can also use this depends on attribute uh, so that nginx will come up only after these two services are available so here if i do docker compose build so it will spin up all the containers which we need okay and you can see we have two nest.js applications which are starting up which are node.js apis okay so in node.js apis we have written two basic apis which is returning a hello world this is the http get request users okay http get request store okay so let's try to test this now all the containers are running what we can do is we can simply do curl request okay so curl request you can see it is hitting forward slash so that is coming from the store service and this is coming from the user service so coming back to our diagram uh, okay so in the diagram we have seen that on the nginx whenever you are hitting forward slash 
it is going to talk to the store service whenever you are fitting for users then nginx route will decide okay this request is coming from the user service so here you can see in the store service we put this explicit message so that we can identify this response of this api is coming from user service or either a store service okay so this is how nginx routing is happening on a particular route it is talking to a store service or on a particular route it is talking to user service so we have created a basic uh, service model where you can actually where we are exposing nginx on port 80 so if you see docker compose yml nginx host and container port is 80 and then we have two other services which this nginx is talking on port 3000 because these are the internal containers right they can talk on the container port so this container will talk to this store container on 3000 and 3000 port and every can every container can have the same port exposed uh, from one another this is the host port only the host port will change because on the host system uh, only one container can occupy that particular port for another container you have to put another port number okay so this is how mapping is happening we have already seen docker compose up if you want to see this always do a docker compose down instead of terminating it directly i terminated it so it will release the resources properly if you see docker compose build you can run the build it will not do anything it will just build the it will check whatever the images are already existing and it will just try to build these it is it will build store it will build users and we already have a nginx image already there and the mongodb image already there so it will just run that and uh, whenever we are doing docker compose up okay so we are able to achieve a basic a basic functionality so what the basic functionality is doing is it, on different routes you can actually route a request to the multiple microservice forward slash auth will talk to auth microservice forward slash uh, inventory will talk to inventory shopping cart microservice all these microservices we are splitting just based on one nginx file which we have okay now if you just do a docker compose up there are two nice.js applications which are exposing forward slash user route and forward slash route here you can see all the three containers we are running and here we can see all the containers which are up and running okay so this is all in the first video now what we will do is now we will start writing the microservice this is just about a quick intro how actually we will set up all these things we set up a nginx mongodb two nodejs containers separately we are running them and all these are able to talk to one another we are talking to nginx 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 is talking to other two different containers right so this is for basic setup now we will talk about how to build a simple microservice using nest using nestjs nodejs i mean you can use these framework like nestjs or express with typescript or express with mongodb mysql using different ORMs. We are not going to talk about Node.js tutorials and training. Just a simple microservice, what all things you need to take care.